U.S. Congress in Washington, and he gave uh, he was received with a standing ovation, and he gave a speech about uh, what's going on in Ukraine. I believe there should be no taboos between us in our alliance. Ukraine never asked the American soldiers to fight on our land instead of us. I assure you that Ukrainian soldiers can perfectly operate American tanks and planes themselves. All right, guys, so basically, uh, uh, Zelensky is asking U.S. to to provide them with the airplane, and they they actually looking for F-15s to more precisely fight the uh, Russians, so they can be able to uh, break uh, like uh, Russian defenses and stuff like that. But um, Biden didn't decide on that yet, and then uh, they contemplating it, and they probably believe will give them airplane. Because Biden already decided uh, that they're going to give them um, the Patriot missile system. And then there's some more stuff go that's going to keep coming. Financial, financial assistance is also critically important and I would like to thank you, thank you very much, thank you for both financial packages you have already provided us with and the ones you may be willing to decide on. Your money is not charity, it's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. All right, so there's a lot of Americans right here in the U.S. are questioning why should a U.S. taxpayer um, send their money to Ukraine and to keep helping them fighting Russians when the uh, U.S. Uh, has nothing to do with this fight. And then um, there's a lot of people in this country that uh, need, uh, need assistance and then uh, especially black people black american african american i'm not saying myself because i'm originally from africa and but i'm saying like those african american that was born right here you know descendant of slaves they they still hold um, separate uh, uh, they, they still hold um reparations that uh, haven't been paid yet and um, many presidents promise and then uh, actually Republican Party, they, they was, I mean, they're very clear about it. They, they don't support to pay it. They don't want to pay it. But uh, Democrats are not very clear. I mean, Biden said no, he's against it when he was running. And then, um, so uh, a lot of people are asking why um, America should keep uh, supporting Ukraine. And then the support for Ukraine uh, is, is decreasing right now in the U.S. population. And um, a lot of people now, uh, in the beginning, a lot of people were supporting, were supporting Ukraine. But now, people are a little bit skeptical about this war, which is, which is right, you know what I'm saying? And then, but Zelensky says that uh, he's very grateful for everything that the U.S. has done so far. But uh, in his opinion, is not is not enough. You need more. You need more weapon. You need more. Uh, you need uh, air defense. You need airplane. Uh, just like you just said that uh, um, Ukrainian soldiers can fly the American plane and operate American tanks. It's basically saying that um, because U.S. was trying to say that they're gonna take very long time for them to train uh, Ukrainian soldiers on how to use uh, their military assets, American military assets. But um, it looks like um, Zelensky uh, don't agree with that. He thinks that it's not, gonna, it's not going to take a long time for his troops to, to learn how to operate the American weapon. And um, a lot of Republicans now 
since Republicans took over the Congress, and actually Congress run the country, and then because uh, they don't want to decide on bills and stuff, you know what I'm saying, laws and stuff like that. So um, a lot of Republicans now are questioning, you know, they they trying to refuse to give the money support Ukraine to support to support Ukraine but we're gonna see what's gonna happen because um, there's um, a lot of Republicans in Congress that are against supporting Ukraine but majority I mean all Democrats are in favor and there's some part of Republicans that are in favor to keep continuing the support and then there's a lot a lot of Republicans in Senate that uh, still want to majority of Republicans in Senate still want to continue supporting Ukraine. So even if uh, Republicans in Congress uh, voted to stop, vote to stop uh, supporting Ukraine, uh, the majority, the majority in Senate will block it because they they believe that the U.S. And Biden should uh, continue giving you know military support to this country invaded by Russia. All right, right here, guys. I just wanna I just wanna show you guys this video. A lot of people saying that uh, Russians are uh, Russian already lost a lot of a lot of their assets, and then um, now they they looking they looking to replace those uh, lost asset and with uh, uh, Iranian weapons and Iranian made weapons but in reality we can see in this video you know let's see this video you can see that uh, you know Russians are, keep, are still bringing the their tanks you know they keep rolling the tanks into Donbass you know, and they still have a lot of tanks, a lot of weapon, and then actually Vladimir Putin is uh, is uh, is pushing the production of a uh, Russian weapon, which is uh, very important for them because the he says that for every tank they lose in battle, they they build like ten more. So uh, it looks like uh, Putin is serious about this. So just like you guys can see, a lot of a lot of Russian weapons, a lot of Russian tanks entering Donbass. These are new tanks, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta embrace embrace to a long war. This war not gonna end soon. This war gonna keep going. You know, it's not gonna finish uh, soon, and then I'm just worried it doesn't. You know, escalate into a world war. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys can see right here. А вот сейчас ремонт, то есть видишь старый еще с сэшками все или на ремонт? На ремонт. Побитые жизни. Вон сборки не слазят там. Сколько Ну да, эти уже сбои. Vladimir Putin will not back down. He's gonna keep coming. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna keep surprising these people. That's what I said. That the only solution for this war, the only solution for this war, is negotiation. You now this is the only solution, uh, which I believe in. Video right here, guys. So this is a street fight. This is a street fight in Bakhmut. You know, Russians and a lot of uh, American soldiers. You know, there's some American uh, uh, volunteer soldiers in in Bakhmut right now fighting. British, you know, um, Polish, Georgian soldiers and Ukrainian soldiers fighting Russians and uh, and the separatists. So, I'll, I want to show you guys this. One. Is everyone alright?
Guys, these are foreign legion of Americans, uh, Polish, Georgians, and British soldiers uh, in Bakhmut. Now, there's uh, this is their division uh, defending their um, their line. You know what I'm saying so. A lot of people are dying. A lot of people die every day in this place. It's considered a very, I mean, like a, the bloodiest of the battles. Ah, in the ah, fucking hell. Get in the fucking building. Oh, shit. Is everyone all right? Is everybody all right? that fucking building right there you see it no no which one the impacts look at the impacts so this soldier i can tell you is american by accent you know uh, you can see the if you guys see it all the way right there in that greenhouse those are russian russian soldiers you see how close they are to each other are they fighting to take control i mean like actually uh ukrainians uh, uh have control of the the city bakhmut but the Russians are pushing. Wagner, Wagner men's soldiers are pushing toward uh, um, taking the the city of Bakhmut. The brick that's oh, yeah, yeah. they're shooting at that. 